Hello all! In this video, we are going to talk about a very serious problem that I know many English learners have. This problem is lack of confidence in job interviews. When you're afraid of job interviews because you think you have bad English, you're not confident in your English skills when you go to a job interview, so even the stuff you know you can't present very well. As a result, you fail this interview. And I feel that this video is probably one of the most important videos that I'm going to create for you, because I think it's going to be really, really helpful to a lot of people. Because this video has some very practical solutions to this problem. A job interview is stressful as it is, and if it's not in your native language, it's 10 times more difficult. I went through it myself as an immigrant, and I still remember my first job interview here in English. It was a nightmare, it was super stressful, but it gets better if you know exactly what to do. And I really want to help you get through this problem. No native speaker knows what it's like for us non-native speakers to be interviewed in English. It can be really tough. And this video will help you. It is based on my own experience. I've had hundreds of job interviews during almost 10 years of living in an English-speaking country. I wanted to create this video for you to give you all this information, all this experience that I think will help you to deal with this problem. Okay, let's begin. And here is the first and the most important thing to remember. The most effective way to overcome your fear of interviews is to learn how to speak in a situation where there is not so much on the line, where the stakes are not high. By this I mean to overcome your fear of job interviews, you should practice interviews in situations where you feel less pressure, where you don't feel like you have a lot to lose if you fail. And it is definitely not while interviewing for the jobs you really want, your dream jobs. One way to do this is to go through a mock interview. Properly done, a mock interview can be the game changer. So what is a mock interview and how to do it correctly? Because not everyone knows how to do it right. Basically, a mock interview is a practice interview, where you simulate or recreate the conditions of a real job interview. You can have it online or with a real person sitting right in front of you. During these interviews, you will go over a set of questions that are usually asked by hiring managers, both technical, related to your actual job skills, and general, which are the most dreadful, to be honest. Like, tell me about yourself the most popular question in which you talk about your education, work experience, and skills related to the position. Or tell me about your biggest accomplishment. Or why are you leaving your current job? In which actually hiring managers want to understand your motivation for changing jobs and make sure there are no underlying issues. And by the way, one of the most important questions during the job interview is what questions do you have for me? You should understand that this question is your secret weapon that will help you rehabilitate yourself even if you messed up a bit like with your English during the interview. This is an opportunity to ask great, well-developed questions. This will demonstrate to hiring manager that you have done your research, your homework, you are taking the interview process seriously. And I leave a link to the questions you can ask the hiring manager just below the video. Okay, so you need to be prepared to answer the questions that the hiring manager will ask you. Just think about what your answer will be. Look online for the best way to answer them. Maybe even write down the key points. Important moment here, when you prepare answers to common interview questions, don't memorize them. Otherwise, you will look like a robot with prepared answers. Keep in mind that you are not taking a test, but rather having a conversation to see if you are the right person for the job. By the way, you can find a list of interview questions on a website called Glassdoor. Sometimes after uh, interviewing at different companies, people post the questions they were asked there, and um, I leave a link to that site below the video. Okay, but with whom can I have those mock interviews, you may ask? And uh, for this, 
you need someone who can fairly judge your interviewing skills. It is better to have a mock interview with someone who has knowledge of the particular industry or with someone who has experience interviewing job candidates. Um, many career coaches have this kind of experience, for example. You can even find people on Fiverr who can help you with this. There are also sites that can help you with this uh, for a certain price, of course. And I'll leave the links below the video to this site. To get the most out of a mock interview, you should treat it like a real interview. Simulating the real interview conditions is very important. Set a specific time, arrive 5-10 minutes early if it is in-person mock interview. Dress professionally, make sure your cell phone is turned off. Keep a copy of your updated resume or your classy portfolio or any other documents that you are required in front of you. Read everything you can about the company, its mission, values, and the specifics of the role you're applying for before the mock interview. Every detail matters when you're trying to replicate a real-life interview scenario. Trust me, it should be as close to a real job interview as possible. Only this can help to reduce your fear. Another great tip that could save you from catastrophic fail during your real interview. If it is an online interview using Zoom, Google Meet, or another tool, take some time to understand its features. Practicing features like screen sharing, adjusting background, sound settings can make a huge difference in your interview. It can be that gap between yes and no, so take care of it in advance. During my job hunt, I also found a way to have interviews that were as close to the real as possible and at the same time not stressful. Even if I wasn't too interested in the position or there were some conditions I wasn't happy with and I realized that I probably wouldn't accept the offer, I still went to the interview fully prepared and had it. And in these cases it wasn't so stressful and I practiced my skills there to be fully prepared to the interviews for positions that I really liked. I tried to get those interviews as often as possible and it helped me a lot. It reduced my anxiety. I practiced my answers, behavior, saw the questions uh, that were asked and wrote them down after these conversations to find the right answer and practice those answers later. If those are not options for you, you can still practice with a friend or family member. It might be not the best option because they can't really give professional feedback and can be biased, but that's still better than not practicing at all. So I would suggest to have at least seven, eight mock interviews before each interview. Start to prepare two weeks in advance so that there is some time gap between these interviews. Your brain needs time to digest and retain information. So make sure you have time in between, but not too much. One or two days between the mock interviews should be enough. One great tip that a headhunter I know gave me is to practice not only your interview questions, but also the small talk you will have with the person interviewing you. Imagine what you will say when you walk into the room and see this person. What questions you might ask, even the simplest ones. Think of neutral topics you can talk about or complement something specific about the company to show you've done your homework. Remember that the interview actually begins the moment you walk in the door. So you should be prepared to have this light conversation. It can also greatly reduce your fear. Another important thing is to listen carefully to what you're asked about. Sometimes when we are worried about our poor English or appearance too much, we tend to become absorbed in our own thoughts about what we have done or will do wrong. We are so focused on our own thoughts that we don't listen to the person we are talking to. This is a very bad idea. For one thing, you might miss something important that is being said to you, and the other person will realize that you are not listening. This is a very bad sign for the hiring manager and a red flag for them. And secondly, 
it won't help you with your problem, which is to reduce stress and improve communication. A study published in the Journal of Applied Psychology found that active listening during a job interview leads to improved evaluations by the hiring manager and reduced anxiety in applicants. In fact, Paradoxically, focusing on the other person rather than yourself can reduce stress and improve communication, especially in stressful situations such as job interviews. This is supported by various psychological and communication theories, so keep this in mind. By listening carefully to the other person's questions and comments, you will be able to give more accurate and appropriate answers, which will increase your confidence by itself. This will make the interview feel more like a conversation rather than a test, which will reduce your anxiety levels. And this will leave the best possible impressions about you. Okay, please don't be afraid to clarify or ask follow-up questions. For example, during an interview, if I didn't understand what was being asked, I could repeat and rephrase the question. I could say, if I understand correctly, you are asking about, and then repeat what I understood. My point is that it is perfectly acceptable and often appreciated if during an interview, you take a pause to think before answering a question. You might say, that's a great question. Let me think about it for a while and take 30 seconds to come up with a good answer and then start talking. It is graceful and professional to do so. Another thing that has helped me uh, get my brain in order before an interview is to arrive a little bit early and walk a couple circles around the building before the interview. This small amount of exercise can trigger the release of positive neurochemicals in your brain that will not only help reduce stress but also improve your mood, making it easier for you to appear in front of the hiring manager with less nerves. So you might want to give it a try too. There are also great breathing techniques to use when feeling anxious. For example, the 478 method teaches you to breathe deeply and slowly and can be done anytime and anywhere. Again, I'll leave the link below the video so you can read more about it. So your task is to use anything that will help you prepare and compete for your place under the sun. Prepare for interviews. Good preparation is the key to success and fight for what's yours using all the tools you have. Go in there, prepare it and with courage. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.